So for this tutorial, I'm using the ALF Daily Moisturizer and I'm putting it all over my face and then I'm going to be priming my face with the Nivea Men Post Shea Balm and I'm just going to be rubbing it in until it is tacky. And then to prime my eyelids, I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm just going to be rubbing that all in, making sure you get a good face. And then I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm taking this white shade and setting my eyes with it. Taking a fluffy brush, I'm using the shade Milk Chocolate and I'm going to be putting this all over my crease. And with that same brush, I'm taking the shade Salted Caramel and I'm going to be putting this a little bit lower and blending it in. And then for the glitter eyeshadow, I'm taking this Wet n Wild Color Icon in Brass. And I'm just going to be putting this on my eyelid. It is pretty tacky, so you don't have to use glitter glue. And I'm just taking a synthetic brush and patting it onto my eye. And with the shade Creme Brulee, I'm taking this and putting it on my crease, making sure it blends well. The shade Champagne Truffle, I'm putting it on my brow bone in the inner corner of my eyes. And then for eyeliner today, I'm using the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner and I'm just going to be winging it out for a more dramatic look. This eyeliner is very easy to use because the applicator is very small and you can get in there and get a sharp point. And it's also very affordable since it is e.l.f. and it's only like a couple dollars. And then I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal Orange Corrector and also the Green Corrector to fix my imperfections and even out my skin tone. And this is a very crucial step in my makeup process because I usually have very dark under eye circles and red spots so it just evens out before your foundation. Then I'm going to use the Tarte TC Primer and I'm just going to prime my face and it also helps even out my skin tone. And then I'm going to be taking the Ulta Double Duty Foundation in Nude Beige. This is actually a little bit light for me since I just got back from vacation. I'm really dark, but I'm just taking my beauty blender and dabbing on my face to get a flawless finish. And then I wanted a little bit more coverage, so I'm using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in shade 205, and I'm just going to be dabbing it onto my face. Now I'm just taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal Yellow Corrector and I'm just going to be putting little triangles to get rid of the rest of the orange corrector that I used earlier. For concealer today I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair and I'm just going to be putting triangles down my nose and on my chin just to highlight everything. And then to set everything, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. And then to add a little bit more color back onto my face, I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer to add more color onto my cheeks, my forehead, and down by my jawline. And then I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette just to define everything out. And then I'm just taking this Rimmel London palette in 03 Golden Bronze and I'm just going to be taking the blush and also the highlight. And then going back in with the Wet n Wild contouring palette, I'm just going to be contouring my nose. On my brows today, I'm taking the Brow Stylist Definer in Blonde by L'Oreal Paris. So first I'm brushing out my eyebrow and then I'm going in and lining my eyebrows and filling it in. To set my eyebrows, I'm using the Essence Slash and Brow Gel and I'm just going to be running that through my eyebrows. For my mascara today, I'm using L'Oreal Manga Waterproof Mascara and I'm just going to be putting it all over my top and bottom lashes. I forgot to do this step earlier but I'm taking the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Powder and I'm just going to be baking my face and putting it on my highlighting spots. Then I apply the Ardell Glamour False Eyelashes off camera and then I am going to be removing all of the excess baking and then I also took the contouring palette from Wet n Wild, the lighter shade, and I'm going to be putting that and blending it in. For lips today, I'm using the L'Oreal Collection Exclusive by JLo and this is just very new because I wanted to focus on my eyes. To set everything, I'm using the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. 